Good morning, and welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. We have a beautiful sunrise back here, and we have a Riley Lee with us today. At work. Yep, work. Oh, working. Working. And we got us a Coda, too. We got Hello. us a good Coda. Working real hard. So today, <laughs> we're doing you guys' favorite thing. We're scrapping. So that means we're cutting, slicing, and dicing. Which one? Slicing Which one? Dicing. Which one? Hold on, we gotta get the right tool, bud. This one? No. Yeah, you gotta get the yeah. right tool. Yeah, we'll need that probably. And this one? Hey, both the batteries out. Yep, you gotta find a battery. <laughs> Riley's first unofficial first day. <laughs> <laughs> come sit over here in the sun it's actually pretty nice out so i just got a nice t-shirt on arctic vet shirt check the link down below go get you one <laughs> anyways uh, as you guys seen we had all that scrap stuff to take care of got it taken care of it is awesome we got a new bed for id and so now these pallets are done for we don't need them anymore and uh i'm happy about that because it Turns out he had, that's his hidey spot. That's where all his good snacks were. <laughs> but now they have something a little cooler, a little better. They can actually crawl in and have a whole little hideout for it. It's, it's pretty neat. So I'm excited about that. But, God. God is amazing. And I feel like, I honestly, honestly feel like God just keeps slapping me in the face saying, Trevor, wake up wake up you need to do this don't worry about everything else don't worry about how you're going to pay your bills don't worry about all this money don't worry about what people think or say don't worry about it follow me trust me i've got you man it just ah uh, i think finally after being slapped the 17th time I feel like I might have this figured out you might be wondering what it what do you mean what do you mean God smacking you in the face and this is the 17th time well yep the 17th time one of the kids or I have been quarantined and it, it's it's ridiculous the problem is I'm not personally comfortable being tested. It's obviously I got sick and I got I did one myself and it, no, no, it didn't. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. It, here's the thing: they want our children to do it. How am I supposed to, as a parent, as a Christian? force something upon my children that I myself wouldn't even do no that in my eyes is abuse no nope and I'm telling you right now the the devil is putting in overtime he is really working on me he's working on people around me and it, it's hurting it's heavy it's hard but you know what God's already won this battle baby <laughs> He's got us. He's got us. We just got to put our faith, our trust in Him. We got to give these things to Him, and and we'll come out. We'll come out victorious. And so, anyhow, there's a lot of stuff just 
slapping me, slapping me, slapping me. In the seventeenth quarantine, um, I, I've just had it. I've had it, and I think, I really think that this coming year is, well, this year is going to be a lot different. It's gonna, things are gonna. We're gonna try and, I don't, I don't, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. But I've given this to God, and I know that He's gonna, He's gonna be like, hey. Trevor, this is, this is it. Here you go. And so you guys may just absolutely witness him working through us. Because I'm here to tell you that this is, man, I thought last year was hard. I thought 2020 was hard. I thought 2019 was hard. I thought 2018 was hard. For those of you that don't know, 2018 is when I got beat up and left the wife ex-wife was evicted and then 2019 the divorce happened and welcome to single parenthood trevor <laughs> 2020 covid 2021 hmm, not much different 2022 started the year out with a bang and guess what the devil's like hey i can't let him see his full potential god's already shown me my full potential He's already shown me things that are going to happen. I trust him and I, I know that those things are going to happen. And the thing is, it doesn't matter what anybody says, anybody thinks. Because what matters is that I put my faith in him. And he's going to take care of us. That's what matters. So maybe, just maybe, you too will see us go through these things are going to be coming because they're coming i'm telling you right now they're coming I, I, I that's all i can say that's all i can say i don't know what it is and i don't know when but i have this this very very strong voice it's coming and man i'm the 17th time guys 17th time i feel like god just smacked me in the face the 17th time it's like gonna wake up yet i'm waking up lord i'm waking up so all glory to god here this is him working through us as a family faith family fun did i point at that right <laughs> faith because god all glory to him this is all god's glory right here all of it all the past the five years the, the almost almost five six years we're on the sixth season we're going to be beginning the sixth year here come February. It's mind-blowing. It's amazing. And it's all thanks to him. Family. We, you, are the family. Together, we make the family. In a way, we're, we're working on becoming a church, kind of. I don't want to say that everybody is, but there are. There are many of you, and I appreciate each of you, that are, Trevor, I really like this. I like what you're doing. I, I'm going to join you right on. I, I Congratulations, brother and sister. You, it, we're, we're one step closer. One step closer to knowing God even better. It's amazing. And fun, obviously. You know what we do. We have fun. Cars. Bikes. Sports. Outdoors. Mother Nature, you name it, games. We're out here doing it. So, this is not, this is not quite what I had intended for today. And that, that is why we just go into the day and we, we find what God has planted for us. Because no matter how much we plan, intend, it doesn't matter his plans will come through his plans will rise up and so we had a very very good learning experience today and that was the fact that my children know they have freedoms they have a choice and that they have a father that is willing to listen and fight for them for those freedoms I, I'm not I'm not just going to bow down and be like, oh yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I'll force my kid to do something I don't want to do. 
Now don't worry guys, I did warn them, I said don't take this too far now. Don't be like, but dad, I don't want to go outside and play. Dad, I just want to play games. It's like, because that's a whole nother ball ballpark, guys. But this, what's happening? We're done. We're done. It's over. No more. All this slack is going to start coming, and it's going to start hitting me in the face hard. And I'm going to face it, and I'm going to protect my kids. And things are going to be changing. And don't you worry. You're going to be right there along the ride. You're going to see You'll see. So go ahead, click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Ask your friends, ask your family members to also subscribe. We're just a family sharing our faith about the Lord with all of you while having some fun. Here's the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Smash that button, tell a friend. We will catch you guys in another vlog. Sorry that I don't have a mention of today's devotional. However, I am still going to read it. And um, this is just something that God really just, today is just, boom, right here. This is where you got to be instead of over here. I'm right here. So here we are. Here's this wonderful vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you tomorrow. God bless.